Watch, Mr. Heavyweight Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing. It's your boy, Big Baby Miller here. Listen, we're knocking on all bums. First, it's going to be Dylan White. If it's going to be Joseph Parker. But you know who got the story right? Mr. Boxing today. You check him out. He got all the latest news on the heavyweight division. And if you don't know me, you soon will. Because I'm kicking everybody. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? Man, tonight must be like the night of the overhand rights. All right, now I got the, the Dave Allen, Nick Webb prediction wrong, and I got this one wrong too. Shout out to Chisura. Um, You know, Takum came out, man. I think I gave Chisura probably the third. Was it the third round? It was one of the early rounds. I, I, I had him nicking that round, just barely edging that round. But I thought Takum pretty much won every damn round up until the eighth round when he got knocked out. But he came out being very aggressive, throwing combinations. He even pinned Chisura against the ropes. But Chisura, you know... Uh, ta you know, Takum, the quicker puncher of the two, so he was landing more clean, effective punches, uppercuts, hooks. I mean, just a barrage of, of punches, man. But Yasura stayed in there. We we know this what Yasura likes to do, and his best chance was to get in one of these type of fights and win out. I didn't think he can uh outbox Takum. Takum has a very long reach. You guys heard me say before after the Pavekin fight that. Takam had with Pavek, and I called him, uh, uh, I said that he's like a watered-down version of James Tony. Just, you know, he can make you miss, and he can come back and counter you with hooks and uppercuts. Uh, you know, he can give you that shell type of look sometime when he wants So He can give you different looks, man, but he came out being very aggressive. Like, he was going to do the Derek Chisura on Derek Chisura. You know what I mean? Come forward, press the issue. And he was. He was uh, dominating the fight to me, in my opinion. Then in the eighth round, uh, Chisura set it up. He was jabbing away, you know, pecking away at the body. Then he came over to, you know, and he came with the uh, hook, with the right hook, uh, the overhand, and dropped him, hurt him bad. Takum tries to get up. You could tell he was hurt bad. Then he got dropped with another shot, and they waved the fight off, man. Derek Chisura and a come from behind victory. He was getting hands, feet, uh, toes, and elbows put on him. I mean, Takum was unloading, and I thought it was probably going to be an early night. I was kind of surprised on how aggressive he was being. You know what I mean? Takum sometimes can move around, uh, especially guys who he's looked to be, you know, evenly matched against or, you know, those type of fights. I've seen him be aggressive against Tony Thompson and guys like that. Don't get me wrong. But he was ultra aggressive. And Chisura will, you know, he'll go against the ropes or he'll stop and plant his feet and he'll have that type of brawl with you. And I thought Takum was going to stop him early watching the fight, man. But Chisura stayed in there and he gets the job done in the eighth round. I'm 0 for 2 right now, y'all. Parker versus Dillian White going to come up next, man. But I like these type of nights, man, where the, the guys that are favorite or the majority of the fans are picking, they lose the fight. This is why you fight the fights. But uh, Derek Chisura, man, he gets another win, gets himself back up there. Um, you know, I know this fight is not been talked about since it happened. But, I, I, you know, I, I know Dillian White, after he beats Parker, he wants to get like a championship fight, things like that. But I still wouldn't mind seeing Chisura versus Dillian White rematch. I think that fight will still be there, especially if Chisura keeps winning. Um, you know, I thought Takam would be able to go out there and, and do a, a cleaner job than Caballero did, which is move, throw combinations, fight when you need to, brawl when you need to. But he was being very aggressive, and it played right into Chisura's hands. Props to Chisura for having a, a good chin, man, to stand up to some of this shit that he was taking. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing Dillian White versus Chisura rematch. That fight really doesn't get talked about much, a rematch. But props to Derek, Dale Boy, Chisura. You guys let me know if you think in the comment section. I'm gone.